Hi everyone, um, hope you're doing okay. Managed to tick off some of Miss Greenway's challenges from last week. Um, so I'm back here with you this week, setting a new challenge for you to get out and, you know, gives you something to do. Um, so I've been going into school with Mr. Reese, and we recently did some orienteering with the students that are in school. And I thought it'd be quite a nice idea if we could create um, a way that, you know, you could go out and do some orienteering yourselves. It's pretty basic, um, which means that hopefully you should all be able to should all be able to do it, have a go at it um, with some success as well. OK, so the way that I've done it, um, it'd be good if you're, you know, you have a partner, you have a friend that you can do it with. Obviously, you can go out with a friend now, keeping that social distance. If you don't have someone that you can go out and do it with, then maybe, you know, a family member, um, you could get them to you could get them to help you with it. Um, so the way that you do it, if you if you go out with someone else, is you're going to first create a map. OK, so I'll show you mine in a second. But you're going to create a map of the area that you're doing it. OK, so like the other day, we did it on the school field. Um, so we had a map. Actually, Mr. Reese print screened uh, uh, an, an actual map of the school or of the school. And then he drew on the um, on the field parts of it because that's where we were hiding the things. Um, for me, I've actually just drawn one out. So it is really basic and you can do either of those. You can decide to draw it out or you can print screen off uh, Google Maps or something like that. Um, you know, there's places everywhere. So if you're in Farringdon, you can maybe use Tucker's Park, maybe the Folly, somewhere big with landmarks that you can use so that you know where you are. Um, if you're in Watchfield, you've got the wreck there. You've got a big, big um, open field that's got football pitches. If you're in Shrivenham, you've got the wreck. So, you know, there's, there's a lot of places, depending on where you live, um, there should be somewhere that you're able to be able to do this. And as I say, you need to have landmarks or obvious things like the Folly that you can have on a map so when you're looking at that map, you do actually know where you are in relation to it. Um, so you're going to create the map or get it off Google, as we've already said. And then on it, I've just written one, two and three. I'll show you in a second. Uh, and that will correlate to where I've hidden some objects. OK, so one will be the first object. Two will be the second object. Three will be the third object. And then you and your partner. Um, so you will give your map to your partner after you've gone out and hidden those objects written down where you've put them and then you could potentially race each other to see who can get back to the start first with all three objects um, you could use things like a bottle to hide or uh, a football or a tennis ball or just you know even if it's just a rock that you both agree on right this is the rock that you need to go and find make sure if you're using things like bottles you don't leave any rubbish okay don't don't leave any litter anywhere um, but it would be something nice to play with a friend if you can get out with someone OK, so I will show you my map that I've done. Let's see if you can guess what it's a map of. OK, as I said, not a very good drawing. Let's see what you can see. OK, so hopefully you guessed with my bad drawing. It is the school field. OK, so we've got the rugby pitch here, rugby posts. OK, football pitch up at the top. There's obviously that fence to the quarry area. OK, I've drawn some trees on there. There's the car park, leisure centre and then the Wilson building. OK, so it's got it's got obvious points. Um, so number one, I've hidden an object at the bottom of the rugby post. That's what that would say. OK, number two, I've hidden an object, my second object at the bottom of the football post. And then number three is right in the corner of the field at the end of that fence. So I've written that there's a fence. So if you were looking for that object, you'd go all the way to the fence and then you could go along it. So you would be able to use this map to find where those items are. And maybe you'd start in the car park and it'd be the first person to get back to the car park. So obviously I would give this map to my partner. Let's say that's Mr. Reese. OK, so I've created this map. I've gone out and hidden these objects. I'd then give this to Mr. Reese. He'd have created his map. He'd have written his three numbers on. And then he'd give me, give me his map. We'd each go out. And as I said, it'd be the first person to get back. Um, we'd really like to see you sending some of these in. Um, so I'd love to see the maps that you can create of all the different places. Um, and yeah, maybe, you know, the victorious person, you get a photo of them with all the objects. So I look forward to seeing what you can get in. Good luck and uh, happy hunting. Cool.